Hey, what's up guys? Rob from the Beer Club here. We are heading over to the Bronx to film the third episode of Before the Beard. We are sitting down with a buddy of mine, Kevin Talbot. He is a professional content creator. Uh, he's an entrepreneur, all around solid dude. Uh, I'm super excited about this one. We have a new format for the video and uh, yeah, let's go take a ride. Hey, what's up guys? Rob from the Beer Club here. And like I said, we are filming the third episode of Before the Beard with my buddy, Kevin Talbot. Great to see you. Ah, oh, my man, it's a pleasure to be here. Super excited about this. And uh, I just want to put a little disclaimer out. If it's a little windy, um, we're actually filming this on September 11th. And so we just thought it was just right to come out here to this spot. We are in the Bronx, New York, and behind us is Manhattan. So we just thought it would be the perfect place to film this today. So, right. Kev. Talk to me. We've known each other for quite a while now. Quite a while now. It's probably been about eight eight or nine years. Yep, yep. Yeah. And let's just give people a little background. So who you, who you are, where you're from, how old, sure, whatever sure. you want to give the people. Got you. So my name is Kevin Talbot. I'm the co-founder and chief creative director of Crown Media Group, which is a digital media agency designed to help brands and individuals, you know, grow their businesses, engage with their audience, and really just share their stories through visual content. You know, things like documentaries, web series, music videos, you know, high quality commercials. And um, I would say I've been working in media production for 11 years now. You know, I'm, I know I don't look like I've been doing anything for 11 years. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm 31 years young. And I got, and I got into doing the craft because I always had a love for storytelling since a young yeah. kid, you know? And then I realized that, you know, with the stories that I tell that I really had an opportunity to impact people. And then I just always had a natural liking to the movie making process, right? Like I always was a go, I would buy DVDs. I wouldn't even watch disc one. I'd always watch disc two. Cause I was always fascinated by how they- Director's cut. Right, the director's yeah, cut, yeah. so how they made the stuff. And then I just fell in love with that process, you know? And then when I got to school, I made a conscious effort to say like, you know what, I'm gonna pick this up and study it. You know, even though there weren't many filmmakers at the time from the Bronx, like it was something that was taboo. You didn't really see that. You know, I took the risk and, you know, I got my start doing music videos. I produced a music video for a buddy of mine, like just hanging out one day and it ended up in the Source magazine. Wow. I was gonna say, you've worked with, let's give a little bit of a, a clientele roster because you, you have worked yes. with some yeah, we're, good names. Nah, it's true. Honestly, yeah, we've been blessed. You know, like I said, the first one was in the Source magazine. I did another music video that was in the Vibe magazine right after that. Um, from there, I actually transitioned. I started doing a lot of work in sports and fitness. I started working with brands like UFC, MMA, actually producing a lot of like Muay Thai kickboxing kind of stuff. Yep. Um, live streaming pay-per-view events that they would stream on their platform. I've worked with Reebok, Nike, Puma, New Balance, um, big magazines like Self Magazine, Well and Good. I always right. see you, you're, you're behind the scenes master, first of all, absolutely mm. behind the scenes master, scooting around New York City. Yes. 360 yes. cameras yes. going, yes. it's yes. absolutely incredible. <laughs> so talk a little bit about, you know, have you, have you been bearded this whole time or what was the inspiration for you to now grow without this, this beard of yours? You know, it's interesting. I like to think I had a part to play in nah, that. You, <laughs> nah, Rob definitely <laughs> had a part to play in that. Cause you know, it's funny when, I first started trying to grow a beard. I never forget, like, you know, it's always in phases. Like first you get the little ice pick sideburns. Mm -hmm. like, I, had, right. I had the, uh, like the whole side, like the rail here. I forget oh, what it's Oh, you had called. the whole rail? Yeah, that was when I was like 16. Wow. Yeah, I would say, no, when I was 16, that's when I kind of just got the picks. <laughs> and then I say between like 16 to 18, I started to get it like light. I, I started to keep it low. But then as I matured a little bit, I started doing things in business. I, I couldn't really do it at first because, you know, we come from that era where everybody's clean cutting business. Right. Yeah, yeah. But then I say within the past like three or four years, it started transitioning where, you know, people started making the beard look a lot more professional. Yep. So from then I was like, nah, I need to grow one. So I'd say probably like 2016, I, I started trying to grow one. It never fully connected the way I wanted. So I would keep it, but I would keep it low. Yeah. And then I started hanging out with you, a bunch of other guys who got beards. I'm asking them like, what are you guys putting in your beard to get it like that? <laughs> and then I would say for me, everyone always kept saying like time, just let it grow. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I remember I would talk with Eddie Bastidas about it. Shout out to Eddie. Yeah. Eddie will always give me pointers. Eddie's our barber. Eddie will always be like, nah, like you kind of just gotta like, just let it grow. Give it, time. give it time. Give yeah. it time. And, and have I'm you felt the difference now having a beard versus like, especially being in, you know, we're both in the, the creative world, so mm -hmm. we kind of have a little more freedoms than mm -hmm. uh, other people do. So yeah. have you felt the difference? Have you seen the difference with clients? Have they interacted with you or? You know, it's interesting. I would say 
I definitely, I did notice a difference. You know, I think what helped me really get to this point was the quarantine and yeah. not really having an option to cut it. Like right. you just had to let it grow. Yeah. And it grew out that when I came out of quarantine, I'm out in the world, people were like, yo, I know something's different about you. <laughs> Obviously, you know, it was the hair. I, I never always rocked my hair this, this long, but they were like, yo, you got a beard? Like, dude, when'd you get a beard? Like, wow. And it's like, they wouldn't say it, but you would just, you would feel that they would just uh, interact with me different. Yeah. But um, no, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we'll see. We start yeah. to get some new clientele no, off of it. Nice. Yeah, so, okay. And, then, and I know you've also done some work with the next generation right. and teaching kids uh, you know, about filmmaking and all that. How did you get into to that avenue? Yeah, so, um, so I have a filmmaking program. It's called Beyond the Lens, How to Sharpen Your Focus, Framing and Vision for Life. And I, essentially it's geared toward middle, middle school students in the sixth to eighth grade. Right now my program is in three different middle schools in the Bronx. And it's interesting because you know, I always wanted to do something that gave back to my community. Right, and I feel like a lot of people always think, oh, they need to have money or something. If you have a gift or a skill, you can give that as well. And so it's actually, it ironically just happened where a buddy of mine who, we worked on some content together. He said, hey, you know, I'm a director at this after school program and you know, I love your work and I wanna bring film and photography to these kids. And I was yeah. like, dude, that's amazing. I would yeah. love to do that, you know? And it was actually blew my mind because it helped me fall in love with the craft again it helped me to master certain skills because obviously to teach somebody something, you have you to just- You learn a lot. Right, you relearn time, it, yeah. even if you know it and you do it, because we've been doing it for so long that some things we just do second nature. Yeah. But when you actually take the intent, like, okay, if I want to teach this kid about the rule of thirds, you will go watch a video, you practice, you brush up some stuff, you relearn it again. So you kind of fall in love with it again. But just being able to work with these, these kids who never ever picked up a camera in their life, and you put a camera in their hands and you're just watching their eyes light up and they're like, oh, like, yo, you could put it like this and mm -hmm. do this. And you watch that creative process start to bubble within them. It lit a new fire within me. Yo, it was amazing. It just felt good, you know, to the point where we actually entered a number of filmmaking um, competitions and programs. And, you know, they actually had a bunch of nominations for like best documentaries. Wow. Um, we had Best Actors Award, Best Actresses Awards. We actually got nominated for Best Drama wow. in a film festival. And actually a couple of my students won their Best best Actor and Best Actress Award. So, you know, it's hopefully it's something that these kids will remember. And even though they just did it as an after school program, you know, hopefully they take it with them into the future. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. All right. Now that we kind of know a little bit about you, what you do, passion behind the camera. Okay. Here's a question for you. Okay. What is one song that you know every single word? When it, when it comes on, you have to sing it, but you're embarrassed to tell anyone about it. Okay, I'm gonna be transparent. I'm gonna start the timer. It is Vanessa Carlton, A Thousand Miles. And I know that probably sounds cliche because of white chicks. <laughs> But that is literally, I am Terry Crews from Fight Chicks when that song comes on. <laughs> Dance moves, oh. everything, <laughs> the whole shebang. Okay, amazing. <laughs> Love it. Second question. Okay. If you could only watch one show or one movie the rest of your entire life, what would you watch? It's funny because it most likely probably would be white chicks, but I'm actually gonna say Bad Boys. Bad Boys 2, because literally every single time it comes okay. on TBS or TNT, I'm watching it. I have it on DVD, and I watch it <laughs> and like- And you still so, watch it with the commercials. And I still watch it with the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the one I would say. That's a great answer. <laughs> no, straight up, because you sit through the commercial like, and I'm genuinely surprised every time when I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the last one. Since this is a wild card, since we're out by the water, mm -hmm. and since I'm looking at boats behind us, mm -hmm. if you were to buy a boat and become a captain, mm. a sea-dwelling, mm. seafaring captain, what would be the name of your boat? Ooh. I would say Smooth Sailor. Smooth Sailor. Smooth Sailor. I'm one, not surprised. One, because you I'm know my, my brand is shot by Smooth, but also, I live by the statement, a smooth sea never made a skillful sailor. 
And it's like, you know, because sometimes in life, like we always, we don't want to hit those waves, but those waves are really what make us. Yeah. You know, and I think that hopefully I rode enough waves to get myself to a point where I can actually earn enough money to make a boat <laughs> or get a boat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think I would name it yeah. Smooth Sailor. I love it. My Kev, dad. thank Rob, you so much. My man. There you have it, guys. Kevin Talbot, where can they find you? You guys can find me at I am Crown Media. That's my business page. You can stay up to date with my team. You can see all the cool content that we promote, we create. And you can follow me personally at Shot by Smooth. Thank you, guys. There you have it, guys.